up, people. So we're gonna do a review on this book. It's called Crushing It by Gary Vee. How does this relate to your business? How can you use this to make more money? Stick with me, this is gonna be dope. All right guys, welcome. If you're new here to the channel, I am so pumped to have you. If you are old here, if you're one of the people that has been here since the very beginning, since we had one subscriber, I love you so much. So, you know this channel is mostly focused on Amazon FBA, it's focused on selling on Amazon, but let's be honest, there's a bigger world, there's a bigger marketing play at stake here, which is personal branding. So how do we how do we talk about something that it relates to you guys who watch this channel, who care about Amazon FBA, but also care about business and entrepreneurship as a whole. So that's what this video is about, is trying to merge that Amazon FBA world with the personal branding world, the personal branding world that can excel and accelerate your brand to a level that is so awesome and so helpful for you to make more money and quit your job faster. So the first three-fourths of this book is just stories of successful entrepreneurs, stuff that can really inspire you. So that's the number one reason to get this book, is just to get it to learn about entrepreneurs who have been so successful in growing their personal brand and then turning their personal brand into cold, hard cash. The rest of the book is where, if you're already tuning me out because I'm not talking about Amazon FBA, tune back in, okay? Comment below, I'm tuned in. Kale, I am tuned in. The reason you should be tuned into this is because the last two thirds of this book is about picking a pillar content. So a social media content that can help you to grow your brand. With you guys, all you have to do is pick one of these social medias to help you accelerate your Amazon FBA business to a whole nother level. So what are the pillars? What are the pillars in this book? The pillars are Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and YouTube. So which one of these, if you can guess, I want you to guess below right now, you gotta, you gotta comment right now, which of these pillars do you think is the most applicable to your Amazon business? There's no wrong answer, I just want you to write it right now. Okay, write it down here. So the two that I would really focus on, if I was you, I'm just gonna give away the goods of this video right now, is YouTube and Facebook. So if you don't have a Facebook business page right now for your Amazon business, go open up a Facebook business page. This can really help you accelerate things with ads, this can really help you start to develop a brand that isn't confined to Amazon, isn't confined to the customers that Amazon already has. So the second thing you could do is start a YouTube channel. And I know this is a long-term play, and we've talked about this, guys, but we had Tatiana Bure on the channel earlier this year, and she was talking about how she sells waist trainers straight from Am straight from YouTube to Amazon. All she does is she wears the waist trainers, she has her fans and her customers wear the waist, waist trainers. She talks about different ways that you can improve the waist trainers, and all of that is free advertising. She's building up a brand on YouTube that she can monetize and take over to Amazon. It's so powerful, guys. So one of those two, I would just kind of encourage you to get started right now. And don't take my advice as the only thing, the end all be all right here, guys. If you have an Instagram following, if you're great at taking pictures, if you're a photographer, do Instagram. If you're more spontaneous and you wanna just do Snapchat, unedited clips of your life, go ahead and do that. If you're good at written word and you wanna do a Twitter account to really promote your brand, go for it. But the whole point of this is that there is no wrong answer. You pick one of those pillars and you work on it day after day after day after day. And eventually, that is gonna turn into an asset that you can give to your children, that you can pay for your kids college funds on and if you're still with me here I'm gonna tell you how that actually works right now so all of this stuff can seem a little bit like hooey I guess is that a word <laughs> a little bit like nonsense to someone who hasn't read this book but an example that I've got at some times that I, that I really liked and I really stuck with me was like selling mountain gear or selling stuff that allows you to go out in and be outdoorsy what if what a picture of this what if you, you're selling outdoors goods and then you start a YouTube channel and it's all, it's all based on Mountain Rick? Mountain Rick is just a complete mountain man. Like he is the, he's rugged and he has a beard and he's, he's actually your, your, your next door neighbor. His name's Rick, but he looks really mountainy. And you're like, hey, Mountain Rick, would you like to come over and be on a YouTube channel? And so for, you know, for three months, for four months, for five months, every once a week, you're just filming Mountain Rick with your gear and Mountain Rick is, is saying funny stuff about him. Like, hey, I used this up in the cave last week and, and hey, uh, this, this, this reel really helped me because it's made out of barbed wire and you know, I only like to, to eat barbed wire fishing reels. And so he, Mountain Rick is just getting all fired up and your whole audience is getting fired up to see Mountain Rick and they want to see more Mountain Rick and you just keep bringing a Mountain Rick for weeks and weeks and weeks and the audience slowly grows and people share it. They're like, check out Mountain Rick, dude. He's awesome. And at the end of that, you have you know 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 subscribers and you've built this base and all of a sudden you say, hey, guess what? We're releasing an exclusive fishing reel 
It's called the Mountain Rick Fishing Reel. It was forged from the, from the steel of the deep earth and it only catches huge fish, that's all it does. And we're only making 100 of them. And so we're, we're gonna sell them for $150 each. They're alive right now on Amazon. Go get them, first 150. What if you sold all of those for 100 bucks each? How much money would you make? Someone comment below, do the math. How much money would you make? 150 reels at 100 bucks each. Would that be worth the time you spent one interview a week with Mountain Rick? I think it might be. Yeah. So that might have been the dumbest example you've ever heard of personal branding, but I hope it entertained you. So if Mountain Rick, if you want to hear, if you want Mountain Rick to appear on KT9, I need you to comment below about Mountain Rick. But that's the basic concept, guys, okay? Is you're, you're building some sort of reputation for your company that isn't just these words and these pictures on Amazon. Does that make sense? It could be literally anything. It could be you're a you're a super nice guy and you sell pet supplements and you and your you and your wife really love your pet Bugsy. And Bugsy is just making is getting so healthy with your supplements and every day you're just filming Bugsy dancing around and she's such a happy snuggly dog and people want their dogs to be like Bugsy so they buy from you. Does that make sense? It's putting a personal face, it's putting a personal brand, it's putting a personal feeling behind a product that can sometimes feel colder, that can sometimes feel not as human. That's what you're just making it more human. I can feel you getting bored. I can just feel it already. You're thinking, I don't have Mountain Rick. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this, Kale. I just want to sell on Amazon. And that's totally fine, guys. I'm not saying don't get a step-by-step -step program to help you through everything. Don't watch all of our videos and do our step-by-step -step stuff because that's what you should be doing. I'm saying that this is your side hustle. This is the extra thing that if you start it now, you start building a Facebook page, you start building a YouTube channel, you start building social media up right now, in six months when your Amazon business has already taken off, you can just add that into the mix and it's already got some social proof to it. It's already got some people following it. It's already got some engagement. Does that make sense? I'm just trying to get out ahead of it for you guys so that you're not asking me in six months, Kale, why didn't you tell me to make a Facebook business page? Now I have no likes and my products ranked on Amazon and I can't get any likes. So that's why I'm just, I'm just public service announcement guys. I'm just trying to help you guys out. I really do love you guys. I actually have an idea, guys, for you guys who are doing an Amazon FBA business because many of you, your goal, your mission with this is to have freedom. Am I right? Like, if your goal is to have freedom, I want you to say that below because I feel like that's it. You're trying to get out of the nine to five job. You're trying to have financial freedom for your kids, for your wife, for your husband, for all of the people in your life that you care about. So. How can you, one of the biggest things in this book is being authentic, is your personal brand is related to authentically to your goal. So if your goal is freedom, if your goal is to live a life where you can travel and where you can have the stuff that you didn't have before, maybe you can wrap that into your personal brand. So like I said before with that, maybe not the Mountain Rick example, but the example about how you and Bugsy are having a great time and this is my family, you could introduce people from your Amazon store to your Facebook page or to your YouTube channel to your actual family and to what your actual goals are, to your actual human brand, like I'm gonna use this, the proceeds from my Amazon store are going so that I can help my grandma out, she's in the nursing home, so that I can help my wife quit her job and have more time for me and the kids. You know what I mean? Connecting your audience, your customer, back to who you actually are as a person because that is the biggest key because if it's not really you inside there, if it's not really you coming through on those channels, no one's gonna care. You gotta be authentic. And if this sounds like a lot of work to you, if this is like something, Kale, I got enough going on with my Amazon business, I gotta talk to suppliers, I gotta get my samples, I gotta do all this stuff, this is too much work. I just wanna take the stress off you, okay? Gary V talks about all the time, he says, document rather than create. To make content, all you have to do is document what you're already doing. Like, think about it, guys. If we had footage of Michael Jackson and Whitney Houston when they were young, when they were little kids, we would love that footage, right? Because that would be before they made it, before they were the person that we came to know and love. What if I would have recorded my Amazon FBA journey like when I was sticking labels on everything back in my apartment, when I was in there with, I have a picture of Sam, my fiance, like in my bed with a thousand other um, like baby blankets that were mislabeled and it was, they're like piled on her head and like, but what if I would have recorded that and made it like a video? Like people would have seen it from the beginning, you know? And that's just so powerful and so special. So if you're stressed out about what to create, just film what you're already doing. Just, just turn on the camera, just turn on your phone. It's gonna be easy. So that's it guys, we're learning how to crush it on Amazon FBA with Gary V. I'm totally pumped. Check out his podcast, check out this book, I'll link it below, but I just wanna do one special thing, okay? I know this is weird, like shouting out my mom at the Super Bowl, but my dad 
always talks about this brewery in Nashville. It's called Jackalope Brewery. So if you made it to this video, you're one of the people that sticks with me till the end of videos. You're actually a cool person. So I want you to write Jackalope below this video so I know you watch till the end and so my dad knows that I love him because I do love him. But thanks for crushing it with me today, guys. Thanks for checking it out and I will see you guys in the next one. We are going to keep bringing you stuff all the time. Like I said, I ain't got a job. This is my job now, so I'm gonna bring you guys more crushing it content. Go crush it today, see you guys.